Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Dolphin Coast Baits. Like I promised you, behind me you'll see the, uh, the crackle effect. I'll show you a couple of pictures and then I will show you how it's done. So uh, subscribe or subscribe down at the bottom, please, and uh, like and share. And um, I hope you enjoy the video. See you there. Running in the sand, living on the land The salty breeze was in our eyes We stood beneath the dragonflies and danced Okay, for the crackling effect we are going to paint a black back so we're going to lay some colors down first before we paint the crackle on and I'll show you how that's done so first we're going to put a uh, kind of a glossy black on top and then the uh, transition color over this one is a blue to mauve which is actually going to turn that black into a metallic blue all right so uh, let's do it you can see there that is probably a fingerprint uh, where I've uh, accidentally touched it the, the oils on your hand uh, come off on your lures without you even knowing it you've got to be uh, so so careful uh, all right, we might be able to fix this if we heat seal it quickly all right, let's see if we can uh, fix this Right, next we're going to uh, put the color transition over the black. Okay, so uh, let me clean this, uh, this airbrush up quickly. Let's get the color transition, shake it up well. wondered uh, what I'm using as an airbrush cleaner uh, and my paint thinner for the acrylic paints uh, they, uh, they are both actually a homemade recipe uh, that I'll share with you on a, on a later video 
will show you how to make it and uh, it also saves you a heck of a lot of money. Um, you tend to go through so much of the cleaner and the paint thinner. So uh, if you can make it at home for uh, just as good as what you can buy in the store, just uh, a lot cheaper, well, uh, go and do it. Right, let's uh, show you some magic. Okay, so we already have our black surface. And now we're going to change this black to a brilliant blue. I think one more coat should do. Alright, you can start seeing that beautiful blue coming through. Nice uh, metallic color. That's the uh, color transition. Depending on uh, what angle you hold the lure will show up a uh, different different shade or different color. Alright, so that's the mauve. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Alright, let's uh, clean up the, uh, the air brush again. Alright, this green, I'm thinking of going with this instead of this moss green. Uh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay, we've decanted some already. And it's nice bright lime green for the sides. Let's load some. Okay, it's actually a very nice green, a bit like a uh, frog in a blender. Okay, let's do the sides. We'll leave a, uh, a nice spot open for the yellow belly. I'm going to slowly build this color up so I'm going to heat set these and then put another layer on all right I think I'm going to put about three layers on and let that nice green come through
let's heat set that one and give it another coat. Alright, next is the uh, crackling layer and I'll uh, show you how uh, we achieve that. Then we spray the whole lure pink. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to paint the crackling over the lure and then before that dries we're going to spray the whole lure except the gill plate and the fin in pink. Okay, a nice dark, dark pink, a lot of red in this one. And then we will show you how the crackling takes effect. Okay, so first things first, we're going to load the airbrush with some pink so that the crackling doesn't dry on us. Alright, let me get all this ready. Right, the crackling that I use is this. It's made by Genuine Heritage Craft Products. I'm not too sure if they're worldwide. Uh, there is a website www.heritagecrafts.co.za Alright, you might be able to order them or it directly from them. I managed to find this on a special at one of the hardware stores that was going for 96 Rand or about what $10 and down to 39 Rand or about $4. So that's the uh, quick crack. Let's see, I can uh, maybe zoom in on this one. Alright, so that's the quick crack. Okay, this is the same stuff in here. I just like to keep these little bottles. It's a lot easier to pour from. We're not going to need too much. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the stencil when we spray the pink we're going to actually cover the gill plate and the uh, the side fin so that we uh, don't spray over that area well, now we're going to cover the lure in crackling and we're going to avoid painting over the uh, the gill plate and the side fin all right if you do get some on there it's not a train smash ultimately uh, it's not ultimately what we're uh, going for you don't really have to paint the belly because we're going to be uh, spraying some orange over the uh, the belly so we don't really need the crackling over there but if there's some there on already but we can sort that out Okay, so we're going to let that blue shine nicely through when we start heating up the, uh, the lure in that, that area first, letting it crack over the back. Okay, I think that should do. Alright, now it's the uh, difficult part. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. move this over onto one of these it's going to be a lot easier a little bit more uh, stable okay we can spray on that all right let's attempt this We 
we have to move relatively quickly so the crackling doesn't dry. Right. Okay, let's uh, move this out of the way. Alright, you can already see the cracking starting on the back. We're going to speed things up with some heat. See, we got a little bit of the pink on the fin. I forgot to dry the stencil when I uh, flipped it over. Okay, but uh, never mind. We're going to be putting black detailing over that area and then the white. So there you can actually see the blue shining through the crackle and the yellow and a little bit of the green and uh, some more of the green coming up over onto the gill plates and we're just going to be detailing some black and white on the, uh, the gill plates and fin. Okay, so next up we're going to be doing the black and the white. Okay, so we can pop the eyes on and clear coat and this lure then should be done. Alright, we'll uh, do the white detailing now. That's the uh, black and white detailing. Okay, we'll do the other side and then we'll do the mouth. Okay, that detailing should be fine. Let's put the orange belly on. And then we're almost done. Okay, we're going to put the orange on. We're going to use this orange. And we're going to add a little bit of red. Let's get rid of that. A few drops of this. One drop of this. All right, let's mix that up. Let's clean the brush first. All right. 
but it's uh, a nice deep orange. Let's uh, thin it out a little bit. Mix it up again. Okay, that should do. Right, let's put a nice orange belly on. Okay, now we can put the eyes on and then coat it. Alright, these are homemade eyes, so I'll make them myself. I'll show you how to make your very own eyes. These are a lot cheaper than buying them. So it is a very simple process. These are 3D eyes. You can see they look a little bit hazy, but once you put the clear coat on, it really pops. Okay, time for the clear coat.